In this video, let's talk about the stocks that we are watching for this week. We got a bunch of great setups that we are taking a look at for this week. We got option plays, short-term option plays, as well as long-term option plays. And I really want to go in deep in this video. We also got a very nice equity play for shares with a very nice risk to reward. It's a $2 stock. And the risk to reward is just amazing, you know, risking around uh, 10% to make, um, you know, we're talking about 70% gains just on shares. So we have a lot to talk about in this video. We got a lot of great setups, a lot of new things to learn. So make sure to stick around, subscribe with the notifications on. If you have not already, if you enjoy content like this, make sure to leave a like. I'll be dropping the newsletter soon on sundaystocktalk.com, but let's get started right here with the economic calendar. Now, on Friday, we do have Fed Chair Powell speaking, so expect some volatility. You know, typically, we trade sideways before kind of the announcement or before the talks. So I'm going to be talking a lot about SPY, and then I also want to go over just the probability game where we can go down or we can go up and we as a trader have to be ready okay if the market is going to bleed the next two days we have to be ready to play calls off the level of support and in this video i want to go over those plays if the market is green get ready to play you know continuation plays or breakout plays so i do really want to go in depth in this video i think i'm really going to enjoy uh, this video in terms of talking about the setups and all of that. So let's talk about the S&P 500 first. We called out the bottom on our YouTube, on our newsletter, you know, by the dip two weeks ago. We called out the downtrend breakout. But now we are sitting right here and we are approaching the all-time highs. The price action has been insane. The RSI is starting to get overbought. So we have a lot to talk about for the S&P 500. The first thing that I want to take a look at is I, I want to expect, or I think I'm going to expect a lot of um, trading sideways because take a look at this price action right here. We have been absolutely killing it. We definitely need to cool down and we can cool down by trading sideways. So I'm expecting price action like this even if we take a look at the past uh, three candles, we can see that we have an insider candle. So if we zoom in a little bit right here for the S&P 500, we could see that we have this candle and the next candle has been really inside of this candle. And the next candle has you know hit kind of the level of support and is really just trading sideways. So I'm expecting some uh, you know trading sideways right here before we really go for all-time highs. And this is a very very common thing. You know for example right here we were at all-time highs. We were trading sideways, trading sideways, and then we moved to the upside, trading sideways, and then moved to the upside. So you know I've been talking about this for a while now. If you have been watching our videos. But again, this is a very, very uh, common pattern here for the S&P 500. Now, if tomorrow, if we do have a red day, or on Friday, if we do have a red day, I do want to play calls on S&P 500 at $554. Uh, this setup is just very nice. I want to do a day trade potentially or a swing trade with the closest expiration. But I don't want to, uh, you know, swing it over the weekend. So this is what I'm taking a look at for SPY calls at 554. I am really loving this price action right here. But calls at 554 is going to be a nice play. Now this is going to be the number one play for this week, man. Coinbase. I have been absolutely loving this stock. We have been absolutely killing it. We have played this stock many, many times right here on the discord these contracts did hit over 80 percent but i i got out for 60 percent um you know we also had a ascending triangle play on coinbase but we can see that we have been absolutely killing it these were the spy calls where we called out the bottom for spy but pretty much if you have not already make sure to join the discord link in the description for live buy and sell alerts and make sure to use code 
uh, coin for 50% off lifetime. So coin has been absolutely killing it. And I do want to play it a third time. So if you have not already, you guys can use coin 2024. Uh, use code coin for 50% off lifetime. And this is going to be a limited time sale. So for coin, the price action has been amazing. If we take a look at the past previous five days, we could see this analysis this price action is just king 197 to 205 we have been bouncing around in, you know this level of support trading between the zone now tomorrow and the next day if we have a red day calls at 197 is going to be a no-brainer i want to buy calls right in at the level of support of 197 dollars that is going to be a no-brainer play for tomorrow or the next day but other than that if we do not hit the level of support we can take a look at the bigger bigger picture right here and then I'll, i'm thinking about doing one month out calls because if we take a look at the bigger picture we have this massive massive setup right here where we want to buy in at the low and swing it for a month so i want to grab one month out calls and then you know ride ride this wave to the upside especially with bitcoin also setting up but it really all depends upon how we close because bitcoin can also reject and hit this level of support so it really depends upon what happens but I'll be mentioning and I'll be you know sending out my buy and sell alerts on the Discord. So Coinbase looks absolutely amazing. I've been loving this stock so far, and that is why I do hope we have a red day so I can play calls at the level of support. But this is what we are taking a look at for Coin. Next we got Meta. Okay, this is a blue chip, you know, one of the biggest companies right here. We have Meta. Now Meta looks very interesting. And this looks very interesting because we're forming this ascending triangle where we have been trading sideways since April of this year. And this resistance has been a massive, massive level of resistance here for Meta. We are also creating higher lows. So on the bigger picture, we are looking very bullish for Meta. The ideal entry would be at the level of support, but with Meta, I'm watching for a breakout here on the daily time frame. If we have a take a look at a closer picture, we could see that we're trading sideways right here, and then calls at 525 is going to be the ideal perfect entry. So we can play calls at the level of support, we can play this quick bounce. We have a resistance at 540, above 540, and we have a continuation to the upside. So I, the ideal entry is going to be 525. Now, the scary thing about Meta is that we do have room right here to kind of drop. So we do have room right here. Typically with ascending triangles, you do want it to get tighter. You guys can check the Discord, uh, you know, go to swing trades, scroll up you know, all the way up and see our pre previous trades. Typically for ascending triangles, what we want is we want the triangle to get really, really tight. Okay, something like this. This was with Amazon right here. This was with Enphase. This was with Costco. So typically this is how we want our ascending triangle. So that is the only downside um, with Meta. But then you can trade this channel. Okay, we can trade this channel and play calls and trade between these zones like we did with Coinbase or how we did with Shopify a while ago because Coinbase and Shopify are very, very similar plays, you know the price action was so clean so this is what i'm taking a look at meta not 100 percent sure yet but i'll let you guys know in the discord next we've got disney for a swing trade so this is going to be multiple days and multiple weeks we can see that on the daily time frame we have this downtrend channel the rsi is still oversold right here and this daily price action is looking good we have a nice candle okay this candle is very good we have a bullish hammer stick we have this you know trading sideways right here so we have a resistance right here we have a resistance right here and the overall trend is a downtrend breakout so you know a month out multiple weeks to play 
Disney calls is going to be great. We made a whole video on Disney, but take a look at the weekly time frame. It looks really, really nice. You can also play shares. I'm personally playing shares with Disney, but options might also be a great play. So watch out for Disney, especially the daily time frame. The next coming weeks, I think, are going to be some very good weeks and days for Disney because of this downturn breakout. We also do have a gap to the upside. So Disney is looking very good and very interesting. So next we got Snow. Now Snow had earnings today after hours and we can see that it's down around 8% right here. It's going to be at $124 soon. We talked a lot about snow. I do have snow shares. If we take a look at the weekly time frame, we could see that 121 is really a no brainer level of support. And as long as if we hold 121, it is going to be looking good for shares or long term position or for call options. So since snow stock dropped, you know, that much, we're talking about 8%. I want to take a look at calls. Okay, I want to play calls at the level of support right here. We're going to gap down, but 121 would be my entry. Okay, I would consider playing calls right at 121. Okay, and I do want to do weekly calls for snow, maybe two to three weeks, but this play looks very nice. Let's see what happens tomorrow with earnings if we do keep dropping. 121 is where I want to buy in calls for um, Snowflake. So the next play that we have is going to be on BLNK. This is a very nice equity play. We made you know several different videos on BLNK, but this is setting uh, setting up. It is right at the level of support right here we can see that we did break the level of support but it's trading sideways and it's really fighting to go back up for the level of support so very similar to something like coin how coin did break the level of support it came up and then it was forming the ascending triangle and now it is back at the level of support and the whole setup is still in play so blnk is looking very good Amazing thing is with shares, man. The shares, the risk to reward is amazing. Okay, the conservative price target is going to be 57 60 percent. You know, we're talking 70 percent. We're, we're having this trading channel right here. Whenever we hit this level of support, we just bounce all the way up to the upside. So the risk to reward is absolutely amazing. And then if you take a look at the one month time frame. This play just looks amazing. This is the one month time frame. This is how we have been always trading for BLNK with this channel. And how I found this stock was I found it from Ken Griffin, the owner of Citadel. He's worth like 30, 40 billion dollars. And he started buying up BLNK stock. And that is how I found this stock. It just looks really good. The risk to reward is just amazing. We're risking 10% to make 70% on shares, and it's only a $2 stock. So this is definitely one of another great plays, and it is a great equity play. So this is what we are taking a look at. Next, we got Bitcoin, man. Bitcoin, always long-term bullish on Bitcoin is my biggest position. But with Bitcoin, we have to keep a close eye on to Bitcoin because obviously because of the Coinbase options that we are having. We have elections coming up. Elections are going to drive volume because we have the former president. Then we have some other president, uh, presidential candidates like Kennedy talking about and, and expressing their views on it. And that's going to drive a lot of volume to, to, bit, to Bitcoin. And volume is good for Bitcoin. So we're taking a look at this daily setup right here and things are going to get very, very interesting. I just do hope we have another leg down so that I can buy in Coinbase at the level of support. But other than that, we have to watch out because once Bitcoin starts to run, it'll start to just explode. We're going to see candles like these. These are the bullish candles for Bitcoin. And once that happens, you know, Coinbase is also going to get candles like this. We're talking about 8% move on this candle alone. Okay. 
8% move on this candle alone. Okay, 5%. We have 10% move on this candle alone. So definitely watch out for Coinbase, especially one month out calls before the elections. So overall, this is what we are taking a look at. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys are watching any stocks, any setups that you are looking at, let me know in the comments and I'll reply with a chart. But overall, hope you guys enjoyed the video and see you guys later in the Discord.